Today I'm going to be challenging the maximum level computer on chess.com rated 3200. That's 800 points higher than me, which is ridiculous. So to even things out, I'm giving myself three lifelines. Lifeline number one is the Martin move. At any point during the game, I can replace the maximum level computer with the 250 rated Martin bot and Martin has to play the next move. Lifeline number two is the cannonball. At any point during the game, I can fire a cannon on this half of the board and wherever the cannonball lands, if there is a piece there, that piece gets eliminated. The only piece that is immune is the king. And lifeline number three is the extra pawn. At any point during the game, instead of making my normal move, I can drop an extra pawn on one of these two ranks. So those are my three lifelines that I will be using to try to take down this 3200 rated computer. I'm going to leave the eval bar on so you can follow along with how I'm doing. But let's go ahead and get started. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should fire the cannon right away because if it's going to be on this half of the board, I increase my chances of hitting a piece, right? Because if he starts like moving pieces, you know, over here, they would become safe. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that, actually. Yep. So here we go. I actually have a wheel that I'm going to be using to determine where the cannon lands. Let's go ahead and fire the cannon. All right. And we have... Dun, 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 dun. A6. A6. It's a wasted lifeline. Completely wasted. Did not help me in the least bit well that is sad all right but i still have two lifelines remaining uh, i'm gonna definitely save the martin one for another moment and let's just play this all right um what would make sense against stockfish i mean i'm just gonna try to keep it simple let's just bring the knight out yeah let's just let's just keep it simple for right now bishop g5 okay we'll trade this and bishop d3 i'm pretty sure this is normal stuff i don't think i'm doing anything wrong here um how about we just keep developing okay how about we should i take that now i think i can just get away with taking this now okay Ooh, that's a check but it's fine because it's defended uh let's see we could do c3 queen to d2 maybe a queen trade and when do I want Martin to play? That's really the big question. Like, when do I want Martin to play? Uh, I'll play queen d2, see if we can go for a queen trade. I'm not worried about bishop before. He does want to trade. Okay. And I think I will retreat the bishop. Feeling like this is a pretty solid position. All right. Bishop comes out. Uh, maybe we just defend that. Okay. He castles. Is this a good moment for Martin to make a blunder? No, probably not. I, need, I think I need to save that. Let's go ahead and castle. I, honestly, I feel like I'm playing pretty well so far. Haven't messed up anything massively. Um, okay. Okay. Kind of just feel like bringing the rook to the center makes a lot of sense. Do I have to worry about this or this? Looks like that's what, that's what uh, the computer's trying to do. Hmm. Maybe I should at least think about it. I'm not worried about it. I'll just leave it. It's fine. Let's bring the rook over. Okay. It's totally fine. I can chase it away and take it back. Let's do that. All right. We're hanging in there, folks. Ooh. Ooh. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. I should have known there was an idea that Stockfish had in mind. Okay. So we're going to lose something. Looks like we're losing a rook. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do much about that. I can go here. I can go here. Yeah, we're just losing. We're losing it. All right. Well, we're going to make the best of this. We're going to play knight to b3 and recapture. Okay, so that was not good. We are behind. I wonder if this is a good moment to let Martin... No, I don't think so. I think we need to save that one. I think we need to save that one. Okay. Let's go attack this pawn. F5. Okay. Let's go here. I 
think I will trade. I think I will take this. Okay. Okay. I want to make like a serious threat and then switch it to Martin. That's what I want to do. This is this is a problem for me. This is a big problem. Oof. Even my my extra pawn lifeline like won't do anything here. Mm. So how do we make a decent threat here? Well, maybe I can just go back and attack this pawn for now. Okay, he defends that. Hmm. Let's go here. It's, uh, the problem is it's only one move, so it has to be like a big blunder. Has to be a really big blunder to help me. What if I attack this guy? Is he gonna let me? Okay, he's gonna let me take it. Okay, he's put. Yeah, this is not good. This is not good. We need. We need Martin to save the day here. I'm thinking about capturing here, and then letting Martin play, and then maybe I can get another capture in. Is what I'm thinking. Get rid of both of those pawns. He's still gonna have some serious threats though. Maybe that's not good enough. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna switch to martin and then i'm gonna play my move all right let's change the bot come on martin and all right martin's up for the next move it's my turn this is a big moment this is a really big moment uh i'm gonna take this and hope that martin does something really not smart come on martin what you got he plays a good move that's a good move that's a good move all right, I got to switch back, <laughs> back to the maximum level. Oh no. Oh my. Okay. So that's all we got out of it. A check, a random check, which wasn't even a terrible move. I have to go here. I have one lifeline remaining. I think I actually might use it right now because this pass pawn is, is about to destroy me. But if I throw a pawn here or here or here, we can temporarily stop this guy. And I think that's what we need to do. I think that's what we need to do. So I'm gonna use my lifeline here and I just have to decide where do I wanna put it. If I put it here, I'm worried about getting pinned. Yes, I can defend it, but then F3, I take, the rook comes down, it's risky. If I put it here, I'm still in trouble from the checks, ah, but then I can block and sink my knight there, which really helps support the pawn. So I think that's gonna be the best square for me, just throwing it on F3. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so here is the position. I've just added my pawn on F3, and now I'm going to switch it to be black to move. We're gonna load it back up and practice versus the computer. Here we go. All right, we're back in the game. That didn't save me as much as I was hoping. That's not good, folks. You can see the eval bar there. We are out of lifelines. I'm on my own for the rest of this game. And I'm not feeling good about it. Well, I'm gonna go here, go for my original plan of... Nope, that's why my plan doesn't work. I was trying to put my knight here. It's, I don't have time. Oh boy. Oh boy, stockfish, okay. I can just try to do this. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in trouble. Clearly I'm in trouble. I can go here, but why? Saves my pawn. He's gonna take this. Let's try it. He's not gonna take that. Okay, I have to go here. And now maybe I can try to push this and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, his pawn's faster than mine. No. <laughs> and it's with check. Ah. All right, I would like a rematch. Same rules, we're gonna play again. I'll, I'll just let Stockfish checkmate me, why not? Why not? Go ahead, go ahead, finish it off, dude. Okay, let's do a rematch and see if I can do a little bit better this time. All right, so here we go, folks. Attempt number two, and I think, again, I am going to go ahead and use my first lifeline right away. Let's go ahead and fire the cannon. Hopefully we can get a, a decent square this time. And E7 is selected. Okay, so it's, I don't actually know how good that is for me because it does let the bishop and the queen out right away, which will be interesting, but it's at least, at least it's a center pawn, which, hey, I'm happy with that. All right, E7, I will take it. All right, so here we go. I have removed the pawn and my first lifeline is gone. Let's go ahead and play I mean, I guess I'll play e4. 
There's no e pawn. He's going for a Scandinavian, but he's missing his pawn, which is interesting. I think I don't want to open it up because he's already got the, the bishop and queen coming out. I think I want to keep it kind of close. So let's just play e5. d4. Interesting. All right, we're going to play knight f3. Queen to d5. What is going on? Hmm. All right, well, um, what if I play c4? Am I going to get into trouble? Or just bishop d3 in castle? Or maybe even just bishop e2 in castle? I think what he wants to do is, is go for this pawn. But if I play bishop e2 in castle, then I can at least get my rook over. Looks pretty good. Or I play d3 and bring the bishop out. All right, let's go for... Let's go for bishop e2 in castle. I think this is a good way to get my... Yeah, he's not even going to take it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to play c4. Ah, all right. Goes back. And maybe rook to e1. I do have to watch out for d3, though. I don't want to allow that. I don't want to allow that. So maybe I need to play this. Yeah, I can't let that happen. Let's play d3. Okay, he's going to try to take that. I think we slide the rook over. And I wonder if this would be a good moment to use my pawn lifeline. Just throw it right there. Pressure this d4 pawn. If he takes, then my knight comes out. It frees up my position big time. That seems like it could be pretty good. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to use a lifeline here and add a pawn. Oh, but that takes my move. Yeah, but still. Then if he takes here, I can take back, and I'm feeling pretty good about that. This pawn is just super annoying right now, so I think I think it would be a good a good decision. Yeah, let's do that. So here's the position. I'm gonna add my pawn on c3, and I'm gonna make it black to move, and load, and let's go practice against computer. Okay, here we go. We are back. I've added my pawn, and computer decides to castle. Yeah, so I do have a nice advantage now. So that was a good a good moment to add the pawn. Okay. So I think, let's go ahead and trade this off. Perfect, so we get rid of that annoying pawn in our face, and now we can continue developing a little bit more normally. Let's play, let's see, maybe I'll just actually bring the knight here with the idea of trading and then bringing it over there. Let's do that. Let's go knight here. Okay, apparently that was not a good choice for some reason, I don't know why. Oh my, okay, okay. Didn't see that. Man, so many blunders. Just They just cost you big time. They just cost you. Let's, let's put the queen in the center. Let's do it. Okay. We still have the Martin move. We still have the Martin move. Um, might be time to use it soon. It just might be. I feel like this is a tricky position. Maybe Martin will make a big mistake if I play knight to b3. Don't know what's happening after this and this and this. Looks like I'm just losing a queen. I'm not sure why the evil bar says equal. I must have a move that I don't see. Maybe it's just going back. I think, no, I think what I'm going to do is play knight to b3. Put the ball in Martin's hands for that move. Looks like a critical moment that Martin might mess up. And uh, let's see. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's, let's do it. All right. So I'm going to change the bot. Here's Martin. And I'm going to play the tricky move, at least I think, knight to b3. What's Martin going to do? Bishop e6. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay, let's change the bot. That's what we wanted. That's what we needed. Now we have a fighting chance to take down the maximum level computer. Okay. So how do we want to do this? Clearly it was a blunder for a couple of reasons. Like probably because, see, I don't think this actually works because then my queen is hanging. And yeah, that's not gonna do it. But there is a free piece right here that Martin did not see, which is kind of what I was counting on. And actually, if I take with the rook, maybe there's a follow-up capture here. Ah, queen e7 though. But still, I could trade the bishop out. Yeah, this is gonna be perfect. Great, great. And bishop to e3 looks fantastic. Ooh. <laughs> I need to slow down a little bit. I'm gonna trade queens. I wanna I wanna go to the end game. I'm up my piece. I'm feeling like I can win this. So let's let's do that. Let's bring the rook to the seventh rank. Put the pressure here. 
Okay, what if I go here and just take that? Is that pretty good? Yeah, that should do it. Okay, and I think we just take... Actually, we could take this way. Probably they're going to trade either way. Let's do it this way. Get both rooks on the seven. Yeah, okay. All right, so we've got an extra piece. We just need to probably activate the king is one thing I would like to do. I want to take this, but is now the right time? It's now the right time. Is something going to happen with the rook coming over? No, it should be fine. Let's take it. Okay, he's pushing this. Probably going to try to like put his bishop there or something, but that's fine. I would like to activate my king. Also want to bring the knight over here. Maybe even sink the bishop right here. A lot of good options. Um, yeah, this actually looks pretty solid. But maybe I just want to bring the knight over. The king check here. Do I get into trouble if the rook comes over? I don't believe so. No, because I can always block with the knight. All right, let's, let's bring the king over. I think that's important. Need to use the king. And maybe we just keep going with the king for right now. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. So, if I trade, can I win this endgame? I should be able to. We got an extra piece. We got an extra pawn. We should still be able to win that. Let's go ahead and trade it and focus our efforts on this side of the board. Can we hold on to the win? That's the question. It's not as big of a lead as I would like to see, but I think it's going to be good enough. Let's put my knight here. Let's just kind of get everything defended so I can't blunder anything. Okay. As I say that, I blunder a pawn. <laughs> well, and actually, no, it's fine. I got to check. All right. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Let's play g3. Okay. So, Stockfish is trying to go for this sort of blockade. And it's a question of how do I make progress. Let's first of all defend the king from the second rank checks. Okay, let's push the pawn forward. Okay, now we can migrate the king over. Slowly but surely. And uh, let's see if we can... What do I want to do? Let's go here. How do I make progress? I really would like to trade, but I don't know if I can force that. I can go here and here. That seems like a good square for the knight. Let's try that. It's defended by the bishop. Okay. And maybe we can push. I don't want to trade too many pawns. Although, even if I did trade the pawns and black sacrifice, I'd still have the knight and the bishop. Although, I don't know if a knight and a bishop and a rook against a rook. And a, I don't know if that's a win or no or what. That'd be interesting, actually, if we, if we get that. Let's play h3. I'm going to slowly advance these pawns. Let's play... I'm actually bring my king over just so it's it's closer to assist. Okay, let's play g4. Okay, let's play f5. Okay, let's bring the king up to support. Trade, that's fine, I think. Okay, okay, we're doing well. We are doing well. Throws in a check. I'm not really concerned. We can just block. Ooh, ooh, look at this. Look at this. Now what do we do? Um, do I push or do I bring the king up? Maybe just bring the king. Just bring the king in, I think. Yeah, it looks pretty solid. And now we can probably take this way. Bring the king up some more. Okay. We can block with the knight. We can push it first. Let's go ahead and push it. All right. Let's... Oh, I can't cut off the king because my bishop is being defended. I can block here to cut off the bishop, but then there's going to be a rook check. So what else can I do? What happens if I throw in a check? I don't think that really helps me. I want to go here, but then there's the bishop. Also, this guy. Okay, this needs to be the move, except rook check. King here, but then I can relocate my knight over there. So let's do it. Uh-huh. Okay, relocate the knight to here is what we want to do. I think. Okay. Uh-oh, what did I do wrong? 
Uh oh. Let's think about this. Do I want to go here? Oh, my pawn's being attacked. I have to defend the pawn. Why did I do that? I can't defend my pawn. If I go here. No, I can do this. This is fine. No, my knight. Oh, boy. Did I just throw the game? What about king d6? Can I do that? Then there's check. Oh, no. What about this? No. That was a bad mistake. I, I needed that pawn. I need. I absolutely needed the pawn. Can't believe that I'm gonna actually probably draw this game now. I don't know what to do. I can't save the pawn. I can't save the pawn. That's terrible. What if I try this? Check. Rook comes down. No, it's not gonna do it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I sacrifice the knight, go for the check, forces the king over here, I come down, and then I bring the rook over? Does that? Oh, then the king comes over. No, but then the... No, 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 no. Hold on. Let's try it. It's a blunder. It, doesn't, it must not work. Let's see why it doesn't work. Oh, because he just goes into the rook and bishop endgame. Ah... And I guess this is a draw. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? I gotta try again. I have to try again. I wanna rematch. We're gonna say that this is a draw. I don't think I can win. Um, especially not against 3200 rated. One more time. We're gonna beat, we're gonna beat this 3200 rated computer. I have a feeling this third time's a charm. Let's go. All right, here we go. And I am going to just fire that cannon immediately at the start. Let's see what we get. Maybe we can get lucky. A8 would be amazing or H8 or F8. That's fantastic as well. F8, I will take it. That's a bishop. That's, that's a great start. That is a great start. Okay, let me go ahead and do that. All right, so here we go. First lifeline has been used, but as you can see, that bishop is already gone. So I'm feeling great about this right away so let's um let's play c4 let's play knight c3 i'm feeling very good bishop to g5 and should i play just like e4 does this let's play e4 i guess okay i don't actually know this theory do i want to let martin play soon or wait that's the question that's the question. Let's push this, since there's no uh, dark squared bishop over here. And maybe see if we can try to take advantage of that. Knight to e4. Bishop to f5, that's a pretty good move, I guess. Okay, we'll go knight back to g3. Okay. What if I play h4 and then let Martin play? Ooh, that seems like a tough position. Let's let's wait one more one one more move. Okay, knight to b4. Yeah, this this seems like it's it. This seems like a perfect moment to let Martin make a mistake. So I think I'm gonna play. I think I'm gonna play h5, and then pass the ball to Martin. Let's do it. Let's change the bot. Come on, Martin. What have you got for me? Okay, here we go. Martin is playing h5. He plays a5. Perfect. Exactly what I was hoping for. He leaves the bishop. We can take the bishop. Okay, great. Let's change back. Let's change back to 3200 rated. Okay. Here we go. So, of course, we're going to take this. That's obvious. And I do also have the extra pawn, which maybe I can use right here. Looks like a pretty nice square for an extra pawn to go. Gets rid of the annoying knight. Knight has to retreat. Game goes on, but I'm feeling pretty confident at that point. Yeah, let's do it. So I'm going to add a pawn right here on c3. So I'm going to use up all my lifelines, but uh, then we're going to just have a pretty nice advantage to finish out the game. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here's the position. I'm going to add my pawn onto there. It's going to be black's move at that point. And let's go ahead and load it. Here we go. All right, we're back in the game. As you can see, 
have a huge advantage, a six point advantage. Is it enough to finish out the game? Well, we'll just have to find out. Uh, I think I'm going to put this knight right here. It's like a very good square for the knight. And maybe what I'll do, guys, is play g3 and bishop g2. Seems like a good diagonal for the bishop. Let's do that. g3 and bishop g2. Okay. Awesome. 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 And the knight could go to c5. Seems like a pretty nice square there also. Let's maybe do that. a3. Okay. I don't think we need to panic. I think we can just defend and take back with the queen. No reason to get all excited. Okay, rook's coming up. Um, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do with this guy? Bishop d2? Bishop b3? Let's go to d2. Wow. He's pushing the pawn. What, what happens if I just take it? What is the plan? Knight's coming in? The queen's coming over here? Okay, he wants to take this. Um, Alright, fine. I think we can actually let that happen. Or I could play king to e2 to defend it. Dun, 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 Let's play king e2. I don't want to let that happen. Okay, so the knight comes in. We do have a4. I'm not sure what the follow-up is. Maybe c3. Ah, c3 is a threat, a fork. If I play a4, c3, and I move, there might be some crazy tactics here. Ooh, even just taking and... There might be some crazy shenanigans going on. So we gotta watch out for that. We have to watch out for that. Wow, this is wild, because I also have like a knight move here if I want it. There's this, potentially c3, potentially knight takes d4 with the rook follow up. What if I play bishop e3? Is that like a nice solid move? Then I have to watch out for the checks here. Ooh, interesting position. Uh, I feel like I need to defend this. Like maybe just bring this rook over here. And just be willing to sacrifice that. I could also play knight back to e4 to control that square. Uh, maybe that's the move. Maybe that's the way to just defend everything. Uh-oh. Why can't I just take it? What did I miss? It's that crazy knight takes d4, isn't it? That's what it is. It's knight takes d4, and then when I take, this is happening. Uh-oh. And if I take with the bishop, same thing. It's even worse. Oh, my. Okay. Oh, he's taking here first. <laughs> What is happening? He's gonna take with the knight, but I gotta take it, right? But I don't have to know, yeah, because there's this. Oh boy. We're falling apart, folks. We are falling apart. Man, look at this position, it's amazing. Martin blunders a piece. I get an extra pawn. Not to mention, Stockfish started without a bishop. So essentially lost both of his bishops this game, and look at this, I'm still getting destroyed. I mean, I'm still winning, but I feel like I'm about to get destroyed. Where do I go? How do I survive this? Here, if queen takes, I'm, I'm going forward. I'm just gonna do it. If the knight takes, at least I get to trade some stuff. Let's go. Let's go, let's trade. Let's trade, see if we can get out of this jam. Let's see if we can get out of this jam. Um, well, Probably have to go this way or this way maybe here okay okay bishop e3 is that a safe spot kind of keeps oh then I could still go here wow 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 okay bishop f4 maybe then where's the knight move in that scenario oh the queen probably moves in yeah what about queen to b1? I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm going to go bishop b3. I, I really don't know. I got a little bit lucky. Okay. So he wants to go here. No, he can't go there. 
he wants to take this and bring the queen in, maybe? Or he wants to do what else? What if I start pushing my pawns? What's gonna happen? I'm worried about this. It looks very, da very dangerous. But I don't think I can do much about it. He might actually... No, can't do that because of this. Okay. Um, I, can I push a pawn? I don't see an immediate threat. I mean, yes, he might want to take that. And check... I'm gonna, I'm gonna start pushing, guys. I'm gonna start pushing. <laughs> blunder. Why is it a blunder? What if I go here? What if I run over here? What if I run? <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing how fast you can throw a winning position, isn't it? Am I the only one blown away by this? <laughs> and honestly, that 0-0 that zero, zero is not going to last long. I can just sense it. I'm up a rook, and it feels like I'm about to get checkmated. It's amazing. Oh, he's gonna he's got the discover check. I can't I can't let him have that. But he's also got this. So if I if I don't move my king, the knight's moving wherever it wants with the check. If I move the king here, then the queen's coming in this way. And that doesn't look good. And if I move it here, again he has a discover check. And uh, what else can I do? It's unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Yep. Yep. I'm tempted to give up, but I feel like we can do this. I feel like we can do this. Okay, last game. This is the last game. Let's let's try again. All right, here we go. Last attempt. I am going to fire the cannon right away. I think this is the best strategy. Hopefully we can hit a rook or something. And let's see what we get. Oh no. E6. So we get no help from the cannon this time. All right, well, that's not good. Let's play E4 again. That worked pretty well. He's Sicilian. At least I know something about this opening. Let's go for bishop b5. Okay, e6. I'm going to... I'll play knight c3, actually. Okay, um, let's take it. And play knight e2. Oh, did I, did I fall for a trap? Wait, what's happening here? What is happening here? Well, I guess I gotta save the uh, the bishop. Yeah, maybe I should have castled first. I guess I messed this up. Got the ordering wrong. All right, well, we have to do this. I don't have to do that. I can do this too. No, I think I want that defended and we can at least get some, or do I want to just take this and play queen f3? Maybe that's better. Yeah, let's, let's actually do that. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Dun 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 dun. Okay, we can defend barely, but oh, there's an e5 coming. There's an e5 coming. Okay, but why is the eval bar not worse than it's saying it is? That's what I don't understand. e5. So there must be some sort of decent move for me here. Really? What is it? b4. Queen's gonna go back to b6. Uh, I feel like we might need Martin here to get us out of this jam. We might need Martin to show up. So, do I want to do it this move or do I want to wait for later? I, I really need to try to like win the queen somehow with Martin's help. What would Martin do if I played b4? Like, would he move the queen? That's the big question. Would Martin even move the queen, and where would he move it to? Because I think there's only like one good move there: queen to b6. I think it's a good. I think it's a good opportunity. Let's do it. Come on, my friend, Martin. Okay, let's play b4 and hope for the best. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go back. Let's go back. Thank you, Martin. We're going to take the queen. And uh, we have a very big advantage. We still have one lifeline remaining the extra pawn 
And the best part of this is Stockfish doesn't have a queen. So that's very good. And that being said, I'm going to try to play more accurately than I have been because Stockfish, as we've seen, is very clever. Is very, very clever. I'm going to go... Um, I am going to go to d3. Okay, I expected that. I'm going to castle. I'm going to play f3 just to solidify this. Actually, I could just play f4. I don't need to defend that. It's already defended. Let's play f4. Okay. Now, do I want to use my extra pawn now or save it? Um, let's just save it. I think our position is looking great. I think we just need to, let's see, he's going to go here and attack this. So how do I defend that? The bishop can drop back to b2. Let's do that. Or I just throw a pawn there and it's even more solid. The position is even more solid. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and throw the pawn there while it's while it makes sense. And then we'll just play out the game from there. Okay, let's do that. All right, folks. So here we are. I'm going to add my pawn right there on c3, just really solidifying everything. And I'm going to make it black to move. And here we go. We are back. Okay. And Stockfish decides to castle queenside. Okay, 7.6. We should be able to do this. We should be able to beat the computer from here. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Let's go back here with the bishop. I want to play a4. That's what I want to do. Okay, I'm not really concerned with that. Let's play queen e2 and just defend. Trade. Okay, we'll play a4. And we'll take that. Oh, great, great. Okay, let's get out of the pin. Don't want to mess around here. We'll play queen f3. Okay. So, how do we do this? Um, I feel like I want to go double up over here and launch an attack. Or start pushing these pawns forward. That actually also looks pretty good. Like, what if I play... Ah, but this is undefended. So we could defend that and then play d5. Are there any tactics here? I don't think so. You know what? Let me just play d3 just to make sure. Just to be extra, extra safe. Okay. I don't think that does too much. Let's play bishop a3. I want to stick with the plan here. And I want to play d5. Okay, so d5. Yeah, this looks great for me. He's giving up the piece. All right. I guess he didn't have a lot of options anyway. Okay. Great. Great, great, great. Let's bring the rook to the open file. We're going to launch an attack on the king here. I could take that, um, but I don't have to. And maybe I won't. I don't want to let the rooks in for no reason. Let's go here and try to trade the bishop. He doesn't want to, but I will take this rook then. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Yeah, let's come in. We're going to just pile up the pressure. And I believe black is in trouble. I think we finally did it. Let's take here. Let's make sure there's nothing weird happening here. No, it's fine. Take here. Okay, and... Check. I'm not concerned because I can move there. Let's take here. Um, let's go check. Mm -hmm. So I do want to watch out for that. Probably the simplest thing is just get rid of that bishop and push the pawn. Okay, great. We got him. We did it. We did it. We did it. That was harder than I thought it was going to be. Thankfully, Martin came through at the right moment. Lost the queen, just like a good 250 rated bot should. And that, that extra pawn on c3 actually helped too, just solidify everything. That was fun. Let me know what you guys think if you have ideas for more challenges. And uh, I'll see you next time. As always, thanks for watching. Stay sharp, play smart, and take care.